Hi, I'm Blaine Greiner, the instructor for Windy City Harvest. Uh, I just taught a seed starting course here at Arturo Velasquez Institute. I just wanted to share with you all today a couple of tips from the class uh, for starting your own seeds at home. Your first step in starting your seeds at home is to figure out your actual sowing date for those seeds. Uh, there's a couple of different ways to do this. Uh, if you are going to calculate your own seed starting dates, the first step is to figure out the final frost date for your area, which for Chicago is May 15th. There's a lot of seed calculators online that you can just type in, May 15th is our final frost date, and it will give you the safe setting out time and the seed starting date for a number of different crops. So the second step in starting your own seeds is figuring out what kind of container format you want to use. Uh, our favorite by far are soil blocks, um, just because they're space efficient, the roots are air prone, so the roots go to the end of the block and stop, and they're ready to grow into the soil as soon as you transplant them. And there's also no wasted plastic materials. Now, uh, buying a soil block maker can be a little bit more expensive up front, but we think in the long run it more than pays for itself. So you're going to choose your soil mix depending on your, your soil needs. So whether you're going in containers or in soil blocks, um, you're going to use different potting mixes for each. Um, it's a pretty good idea to buy your soil blocking mix because then you know it's, it's good for the purpose you're going to use it for straight from the beginning. So good blocking soil mix will have peat, compost, a little bit of lime to offset the acidity of the peat, coarse sand or perlite, and a light mix of organic fertilizer like blood meal, um, colloidal phosphate, and green sand. Uh, the next step is creating an ideal environment for your seedlings. So you want to uh, modify the temperature, humidity, moisture, light, and airflow in order to give your seedlings the ideal environment for growth. Most plants for germination will want between 65 and 85 degrees um, during the daytime and then a nighttime period that's above 55 degrees. When watering your seed things, you want to provide consistent and even moisture. Uh, one of the ways to do this is by using solid bottom trays and bottom watering your starts. So putting a little bit of water on the bottom of the trays that the plants can wake up over the course of the day to keep the soil blocks moist. Um, otherwise, uh, we recommend watering at least two to three times a day. Most seeds require darkness for germination, um, but some seeds actually require a little bit of light, like lettuce and certain flower seeds. Um, so it's a good idea to just research the type of plant that you're seeding. And it's important to remember, even though seeds, some seeds need darkness to germinate, all seedlings will need light once they come up. And this lighting can either be natural sunlight, uh, fluorescent light, or a combination of both. So if you are starting seeds in a windowsill, you want to find a south or east facing window with um, and sometimes use extra light, you know, a fluorescent bulb, something like that, just to give it a little bit more light and so they don't grow too far towards the window. When starting your own seeds, you want to keep the humidity high, and you can do this with either a plastic dome or some sort of plastic to cover the seeds. But once the seeds come up, you want to remove that plastic in order to let a little bit more air in, and this will help deal with fungal or mold problems. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out some of the short courses that we have at Windy City Harvest that are related to urban agriculture and other organic growing practices.